Well, I gotta go now, Herbie. Okay, thanks, Chuck. See you next drive through. Hey, I almost forgot. Brought you this movie magazine. Oh, that's terrific. Man. Thanks a lot. I know how crazy you are about movies. I finished all the other movie magazines you left me. Thanks, Chuck. Gotta go. See ya. Have a nice truck drive. Okay. <laughs> The raw truth behind Jimmy Stewart's stutter. <laughs> wow. The odds against you becoming a movie star. I only wish. Maybe someday. All right, you dirty rat. You gave it to my brother, and I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> All right, you I tell you, JT, this is a waste of time, driving all over the country looking for an unknown to star in your latest movie. I'm the producer. You're just the director, so let's leave those decisions to me. You're right, JT. You know, somewhere out here in the heartland of America, there's a young unknown whose smile will light up the screen. And a guy who can break down and sob at a moment's notice. <coughs> but he's going to be able to sing and dance. God! You're looking for another Al Jolson, JT. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mammy. Waiter, waiter. I guess there's no one here. Let's. Me, that's me. Oh, I'll notice you there. Uh, two coffees, black. All right. Listen, I hope we find him soon, DT. I'm tired of eating in these greasy spoons. We'll find him. We'll find him, Parsons, because one of the talents of being a great producer... Which you are, JT. Yes, well, it's one of the talents of same is giving the public what they want before they know they want it. Right now, they want a fresh, young, unknown face. Right, JT. Excuse me. I, I, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation, but... Aren't you just in time, the big Hollywood producer? That's right, son. I saw your last movie ten times. It was the greatest war musical I've ever seen. You're talking about Tanks a Million. Yes, that's right. I directed it. Really? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. I'll never forget that scene where you had the 300 Sherman tanks crossing the Rhine River into Germany, driven by 300 topless girls in sailor suits. And they all sang, we'll tie Hirohito to the inborn Magneto of an R.E.M. mosquito. Yeah, that was based on a real incident. Uh, what brings you gentlemen to, uh, Parkerburg? Well, we're looking for a young unknown to star in JT's latest film. Yeah. Yeah, I'm producing a movie about, uh, oh, a young man who works in a small diner in the Midwest somewhere. He's a, a dreamer, really, the kind of guy who reads movie magazines all hey, the time. Hey, that, that's me. That's what I do. Yeah, well, he dreams of becoming a famous actor and leaving this small town, but he's torn. He's torn between his love of the movies and his need for the beautiful town naughty girl. Herbie, I thought you were going to close early and pick me up. Oh, yeah, honey, I'm sorry, but I got to talk to these two guys. You, and you said know we were going to the drive-in movies, and we were going to have some buttered popcorn and juju fruit. <laughs> now, she's a very possessive girl. She has a sensual animal quality who drains our hero of all his vitality and creative drive. And after the movie, we can go down by the river and watch the polywogs mate. No! I won't be dragged into the abyss of sensuality and sin that drained me of all my creative desires. She's drained me of all my creative desires. Well, one night, when he and his girlfriend are in the midst of a heated conversation, a famous Hollywood producer and his director enter the diner by chance. And they tell the young man, listen, we're looking for an unknown star. An unknown to put into the movie that we're making about a young man who works in an all-night diner. I couldn't do it, trust me. The director then hands him a movie script and tells him to memorize the first ten pages. Got it! Now, the director... The director tells him that they want to give him an audition right there in the diner. Listen, we want to audition you right here in this diner. Okay. The scene concerns you're trying to tell your girlfriend that you're leaving and going to Hollywood. Right. To star in a movie about a young man who works in a diner all night in the Midwest and dreams about getting know, into I the know, movies. I know, I know, I know the plot. You know. Herbie, this is silly. These guys give me the creeps. Now, are we going to the drive-in or not? I can't, Amanda, don't you see? There's... <laughs> I can, Amanda. Don't you see? 
I have a chance to leave this rotten little town forever. I have a chance, Amanda, to become a star. Ruby, are you nuts? You couldn't even get a walk on in the senior play. Gotta see! Gotta dance! It's all your fault. You Ruby, both filled his head Ruby, with this dumb Ruby, garbage. Ruby, 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 we're gonna miss the money in the drive-in. Well, you understand, young lady? He's got it. That's certain something that comes along only once in a decade. Brando had it. Dean had it. Magruder has it. <laughs> Tell her what I mean, Parsons. Star quality. <laughs> Honey, don't worry. I'll call for you once my name is up in lights. Herbie Grossmeyer in... Too over easy. The story of a young man who comes from a small diner in a small... I know, I know. You know. <laughs> I can even see the sequel. Yeah. We'll call it, we'll call it Burger Baby. The story of a young man finding that he, he can't make it in Hollywood. He returns to the Midwest and opens up a hamburger joint. I can see it now, JT. It's a musical. We'll open up with the March of the Condiments. 300 ketchup bottles marching along in precision timing. <laughs> and one big dill pickle at the end. Huh. Then, reunited with this girl, yes. he realizes he was a fool ever to have left her for the glitter of Tinseltown. Baby, baby, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back, my burger baby. <laughs> and just as they go into a heated clinch, mm. the producer rushes into the diner. He's furious at their star for having left in the middle of the movie. What are you doing here, you ungrateful ratch? I took you from nothing. I made you a star, and you run out on me! I'm sorry, but Holly, Hollywood just isn't for me. You see, it's Amanda I really care about. Oh. Why, she's nothing more than the town naughty girl. <laughs> the producer looks at the girl, really seeing her for the first time. You're beautiful when you get angry. <laughs> What's your name? Kirby Grossman. Not you. Oh. Amanda. Amanda Dawn. Amanda. How would you like to see your name up in lights, Amanda? No, no Herbie Grossmeyer. You see, my director and I are looking for an unknown actress to star in a movie about a young girl who works in a small Midwest diner, who loves a young man who dreams about becoming a movie star, but when the producer realizes that he has no talent... Hey, what happened to the original script? That's Shh, what... JT's on a hot roll. He decides then that the girl has what it takes to become a star. Got a scene, got a death. No. Mm. Young man, he tries everything to keep her, but then he realizes not only is he losing the part of the movie, he's, he's also losing his girl. Dynamite, JT. Yeah, all right, hold it. Hey, stop that. Get your eyes off of her. <laughs> now, all right. I admit, Amanda, I got carried away for a second by these two clowns. You guys get out of here. My place isn't in Hollywood. It's back here with you, Amanda. Let's go to the drive-in. But Herbie, they want me to star in a movie. A young man realizing he's been made a sucker of goes berserk. What are you talking about? This whole thing is crazy. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden these two guys come in from Hollywood and they tell me they're looking for an unknown to star in a movie that's making about a young man who is an unknown who works in an all-night diner and he can't make it in Tinseltown so he turns home to his hamburger joint where he wants to be with Amanda and the producers come in and they see the girl and they take her away instead of the guy. I'm going crazy. I don't know where I am. I don't know my place anymore. I don't know who you are. This God, God, very nice, Mr. Steinberg. Nice. Honey, guys, very nice. Great. Great. I tell you, I'd like to take it one more time from oh, the top. Come on. Please, we please, please. Now, one more time. Please. All right, please. make us. Come on, let me have this mustache. Oh, my God. Infinity of Movies, scene one, take two. 